How y'all doing today? Big question at hand. Why would anybody call Reliable Aid anyway? That's what they ask me all the time. So listen, what I do is I connect paychecks to pockets. Meet the new boss of in-home health care. All right, hashtag live if you in the live broadcast with us. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're watching this in the rebroadcast. My name is Kayan Church. What do I do? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, look, if you're with me, don't be afraid to uh, get some lights, give some hearts. You know what I mean? You may want to start a watch party. I don't know. If you if you like me, you my age, you know, you might got some older parents that need some help. You may even be taking care of a loved one, <clears throat> you know, just in the house. You may be in their house. Who knows? But this is what I can tell you. People say, Casey, why would anybody call reliably? Well, put it to you like this. There's two reasons to call reliably. Now, the most popular reason people call reliable aid is uh, to try to, you know, basically connect their pocket with a paycheck. You know, they've probably been working hard, taking care of uh, their loved one, their parent. You know, a lot of people got people that they take care of. You know, I actually took care of both my parents. I got the, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough right now to still be able to take care of my father every day. You know, like we can make this dialysis running, then I'll be back on the grind. You know what I mean? But... You, you may be splitting up your income. You know, it's hard to take care of two people. It's hard to take care of more than one person with one income. Like they say, two jobs is for two people. And if you're taking care of a second person, it will be great for you to get a second income. You know what I mean? Now, that is the very first reason why people call reliable aid. The second reason why people call, they need a little extra help. They taking care of mom, they taking care of dad, you know, shout out, by the way, if you taking care of mom or dad, you know, give me a big thumbs up, you know what I mean, if you, if you, if you down for helping people, you know, but some people need a little more help and need to bring other people into the home to, uh, to, to help them out. You know, some people got, you know, real live jobs and, you know, life outside of their home that they got to go to every day, you know, and, uh, it's hard taking care of multiple people. I don't know if you know that, you know, if you know that and uh, you feel like taking care of people is a good thing, man, give me some hearts, give me some love on that, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody on here who thinks about other people and puts other people's needs first in front of their own, you know what I mean? Because that's a good thing. See, we're not, we not really doing this for the money. A lot of people, a lot of people are actually scared to get the money. They say, KC, I don't want to get any money for taking care of my mom. <laughs> and I'm like, look. If your mother's eligible, the money is to make mom more comfortable. You know what I mean? We, we you know, we're going to be honest. It doesn't pay enough to, to run off and buy a Ferrari, but it does pay enough to put some groceries into the house and, uh, you know, continue your life on as it was before. You know what I mean? Like when you get to a certain age, you don't want to sacrifice on how you're living. You know what I mean? That's, that, that ain't cool at all. You know what I mean? Shout out to those who uh, who not sacrificing their way of life. You know what I mean? It's the COVID times. We stuck in the house. You know what I mean? Who want to be broke and stuck in the house? That's like that's like a cardinal sin. Like, we ain't not doing that. <laughs> we not doing that at all, man. Yo, shout out uh, to everybody on here. I got a lot of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I got a lot of big hearted caregivers from all over the world that's watching. Miss Morales, how you doing? Look, if you're here and you're from another country, you're from another city, you're from another state, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. Let me know. Are you a big-hearted caregiver? You know what I mean? Is this message resonating with you? You know what I mean? Now, listen, if your mother, if your father, if the person that you're taking care of is in the Medicaid long-term health care plan, I don't know, it might be, uh, it might be immoral to not get paid, you know, because the money's out there. And a lot of people don't know that, you know what I mean? It's always, I ain't going to say always, it's usually some hidden money somewhere for somebody. If you qualify, that's great. If you don't, too bad, you know what I mean? But if you qualify, you definitely want to you wanna get what's yours. 2021 is here. 2020 was the year of the vision. I told y'all how it was going down. 2021, we already seeing it clearly. So if you need some help, you need to call me. Uh, 302-689-3240, that's the number. Reliable Aid Inc., you know. Like I said, there's two reasons people call me. They working really, really hard and, you know, they, they need some supplemental income. You know what I mean? You know, my pop like to eat out a lot. We stuck in the house a lot. So, you know, hey, who going to pay for that food to come to the house? 
I'm going to give you a way to pay for it. Call me, 302-689-3240. Look, I love you. I got to go. Uh, I got to get popped the dialysis, so we got to get out of here. But listen, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that uh, taking care of other people that you love is a bad thing. We're doing this to get our blessings. Mr. King, how you doing today, brother? I ain't seen you in a long time. How's it going? All right, look. Share the big-hearted caregiver message. You may have some people that uh, that actually could benefit from this, you know? Think about your broke cousin that's on the couch. He takes care of his mom. <laughs> I, I'm sure he could use a couple dollars, you know, in his pocket, you know what I mean? And and mom could use all the help that she can get, you know what I'm saying? So, listen, do what you got to do. Call me, you know, uh, drop something on me, you know. We on the wire right now, so all you got to do is say it, and, and I'm going to see it. So, I love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Uh, this is day three. My assistant said, look, man, you're not showing up on these days. So if you need me to show up a little more, man, give me a couple hearts. Give me a couple likes, man. Tell me what time it is over at your place. You know, how y'all doing over there? All right. My name is KC. I love y'all. Talk to you tomorrow.